When is it a, an appropriate time to fast and how? Is it uh, supposed to be a certain time, amount of time, what? Fasting is something that you don't, you, you know, you don't, it, in, the, in the Old Testament, fasting was um, mandatory in, in, for one particular um, festival. Um, you, you really, you, it really wasn't something that was necessarily required of all people at all times. It, there was one specific fast that you were to have, but fasting in the Old Testament uh, is also a picture of doing good to others and, you know, things that really pertain to social justice in many ways. You see it in Isaiah 58. Um, so in the Old Testament, there was one mandatory fast. In the New Testament, it had become a habit. And so there was a religious habit of fasting that you found in the New Testament, but you don't see that fasting is ever commanded of a believer, but fasting is, is something believers will do. Now, the reason people will fast is because when you fast, it's a picture of a separation. You're separating from food, which is your sustenance, and you're saying, I desire the Lord more than my daily bread. And so what you're doing is you're actually what is used to be called mortifying the flesh, putting the flesh to death by taking a certain amount of time to not feed your bodily appetites so that you can concentrate more fully on the things of the Lord. And so fasting is something that I believe the Holy Spirit will lead an individual to do, but not necessarily something that we'll say as a church that I necessarily would stand up as a pastor and say, I'm calling the church to a fast. It's an individual thing under normal conditions. There are times when a pastor will come up and say, you know, I really believe that we should give ourselves over to a certain time. And there are times that may be a prophetic thing that the pastor may do. Under normal conditions, uh, that is a personal individual choice that somebody makes where they separate themselves from the food for a day, sometimes for a week, and sometimes some have gone longer. There are different kinds of fasts. There is a complete abstinence from food fast and only drinking water. There is a partial fast where you'll eat like um, some, some, some only a certain thing like vegetables, like you see that in the book of Daniel. So there are just different kinds of fasts that you can have. But the heart of the fast is mourning over sin and a separation to God. And that's something the Holy Spirit would lead an individual to do. And so if somebody has a sense in their in, in their soul, I desire to be separated to the Lord. I'm going to go into a fast. You can have a 24-hour fast. You can have a sun, uh, sunrise to sunset fast. There's a variety of ways that you can fast that God does honor. But the real fast that God honors is the fasting of the heart. It's the attitude of the heart. And that's why Jesus said that the hypocrites disfigure their faces to be seen by men to be fasting because what they were doing was to be seen by men. So when the Lord places on my heart to fast, then that's going to be something that nobody will know because it's between him and me. And I may be saying, Lord, I'm, I'm, I'm fasting because I'm concerned for my nation. Or I might say, Lord, I'm fasting and I'm going to dedicate this amount of time to this fast in prayer because I'm concerned for my marriage. Or Lord, I'm concerned for my child. Or Lord, I'm concerned for, and you name it. And then it, I'm fasting for this. So you tell the Lord, this is why I'm separating myself to you because I'm concerned in this area. And so that's generally how it works.